Our greetings to all our viewers and listeners all over the world. These are greetings of peace from your servant, Nomo Vidoji Paul. I am the leader of a prayer camp at Bovi Zion, located in the district of Ngocha and specifically in uh, Togo. In this prayer camp, God is using us to do good to people, healing them from all kinds of diseases. And by faith, God is using these, His words to transform the lives of our viewers and listeners and people are experiencing transformation all over the world. I pray that God transforms something in your life before the end of this journey of faith. Let's look at the scriptures in 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 23. There it reads, And he said, Why will you go to him today? It is neither new moon nor Sabbath. She said, All is well. Who is speaking here? There was a man of God called Elisha. The Bible recalled that Elisha lived on the top of Mount Carmel and there was a woman who lived in Shunem and she had no child. Elisha used to stay with the woman when she passed that way and God spoke through Elisha who prophesied to this woman saying at this season about this time next year you shall embrace a son and indeed she got pregnant and gave birth to a child at the time this woman and her husband were no more hoping to have a child if this Shunammite woman and her husband can have a child at an old age believe that you can also have a child if you are childless and the Bible recalls that the child of the Shunammite woman fell sick and died while they were working on the farm the woman went up and led the child in the room she made for the man of God and ran to the man of God. The man of God and the husband of this woman asked her, Is all well? She replied, All is well. But all was not well. She did not even share this with her husband. She told, the man that I was going to the man of God and the husband said why go to him today it is not the new moon it is not the Sabbath she replied all is well I will go when she went the man of God signed his servant to meet her and ask are you all right is your husband all right is your child all right Everything is all right, she said, but all was not well. But this was a step of faith. This is the same faith that she exemplified with her husband. And she went away and brought the man of God back to the room where the child was lying and the man of God lay on the boy mouth to mouth. And the Bible recalls that the child who was dead came back to life. It was only then that the husband realized that the child was dead. She hid this important information to her husband. This can be called foolish faith, which is illogical. She believed that the man of God can bring her child back to life. This faith is not common. And I said in the previous episode that Abraham believed that even if he kills his son, God is able to raise him back to life. And in this case, the child was not killed, the child died, but by the faith of this woman, the child was brought back to life. This woman knew God, she believed in God, she believed in eternal life, she believed the hell is his, but above all, she believed in the power of God, and God honored her faith. And this child that was supposed to be buried was brought back to life. If there is anything dying in your life, receive life, receive faith. This disease, the medical death is said that you die of. Our God can heal this disease. If you are overwhelmed by depth, you are fed up with life and your life is upside down, the Lord Jesus we believe in has power to transform your life. 
as you are committed to make this journey of faith with us, your life will be transformed so that you may know the greatness of God. Shalom. God bless you as you engage in this journey of faith with us. The journey will continue. Goodbye.